Setting content to draft means the content is hidden from the student's view. It's important to understand when you set items to draft via the course content area, this area right here, it's going to affect items in the submission review area. So if you have drop boxes, quizzes, and discussions linked into the, con the uh, course content area, it's going to affect what goes on in the submission review area. So this tutorial is going to kind of explain that and show you visually what happens from the student's perspective. So first, let's just set the entire module as draft. So I click Published and set it to Draft. So you'll notice it says Draft right here, which is kind of nice for you to know that it's set to Draft. Let's see what happens from the student's perspective. I'm just going to do a role switch to View Student. So from the student's perspective, the module is completely hidden in the course content area. But remember, I had uh, I had a quiz, a Dropbox, and a, and a, and a uh, discussion topic all linked in the course content area. If I go to submission review and discussions, guess what? Even though it's draft and hidden in the course content, I have access to that week one discussion. If I go to the drop boxes, look, I have access to that project one discussion or project one drop box. Quizzes, I have access to the quiz. So just by setting the uh, module as draft is not enough to hide all the items from the student. So the best thing to do is if you want the module to be draft and you don't want the students to see any of the content in there, it's also a good idea to set each of the individual items as draft or the drop boxes, quizzes, and discussions. I'm going to use the bulk edit to do that because it's a much simpler process to use. And I'm going to choose draft on that. I'm going to choose draft on that. And I'm going to choose draft on that. Now, when you choose draft on these items, it will affect what's going on in the course, uh, the submission review area. So I set, let's go to the uh, discussions, and what you're going to notice right there, it says hidden now. <clears throat> so that little icon underneath of there means that this is hidden from the student's view. So this is affecting the visibility. That's what this is affecting, the visibility. And if I change it here, or if I change it inside of the course content area, you should understand that they are linked. And so now you'll notice it doesn't say draft anymore. Let's go ahead and make it draft again. So again, by you doing something in the course content area, it will affect the submission review area. When it comes to the quiz, let's go over to the quiz. And I go to quizzes it will automatically inactivate the quiz. And again, if I activate the quiz, it'll change it from draft to published over in the course content area. And if I change the status in the course, course content, it'll change it there. Now, let's look at Dropboxes. Dropboxes is a special case because they still have access to it. So if I'm the student now, and again, they can't see any content. I go to discussions. Notice now that week one discussion's gone. I go to quizzes. That week one quiz is gone. But I go to drop boxes. Wow, that drop box is still there. So there is no easy way to hide a drop box. Um, there is a tutorial on how to hide a drop box. And I'll just go through it very quickly in here. And it is a workaround where you go and edit the folder. And essentially what you, you do is you go to restrictions and you click allow only users with special access to see this folder. And I click and, and make sure that I don't have anybody with special access and I click save and close. And now from the student's perspective, if I go to submission review and drop boxes, that drop box is gone. However, when you're ready to open that Dropbox up, you have to go in and manually do that to the Dropbox. Whereas the other items, you can just go in here and un, you know, set them to published, and then they will then be viewable, both in the course content and the submission review area. So understanding how draft affects a module, affects content, and affects quizzes, discussions, and Dropboxes is an important concept in my courses.